Hello, Veritas48. Um, I'm going to try to answer your five questions to Atheist, uh, unscripted. Uh, all right, number one. Basically, what would I say to God after my death if the Bible is true and everything's... I don't know. I think I might be a little like Jesus was uh, before Pilate. Uh, just like what I was every time I was in trouble as a kid. A little taciturn, uh, <laughs> frightened. Uh, it's not... Um, yeah, I probably wonder why he didn't give us evidence, uh, you know, um, why he didn't make his message more clear so that it wasn't so uh, mixed up and garbled and needs to keep getting reinvented by some new prophet. <laughs> uh, it's hard to keep track of all the new messiahs and prophets these days. Uh, uh, I guess uh, I guess I'd be pretty pissed at him too. I'd probably I don't know. I think I'd not, probably be too afraid to say anything actually. But uh, I'd want to tell him off, tell him how disappointed, what a deadbeat daddy is, you know, deadbeat father. So what? That's my feeling. Two. What sort of evidence would I find sufficient in order to abandon atheism? Excellent question. I think a return to uh, Old Testament miracles. Uh, I mean, God got pissed off about the Tower of Babel and confounded everybody's languages. All he would have to do for me is to undo that fuck up and let us all understand what each other's saying. I mean, it's not going to clear up things too much. I mean, we can't agree now in America, and we all speak English pretty much. You know, all our leaders do. And But wouldn't it be wonderful if he would just undo that one thing? I mean, that's one of the meanest things he ever did. I mean, you know, apart from the, you know, the genocide and everything, but I mean, confounding the languages. If he undid that, that would be pretty good. Or that and maybe made the Sahara Desert green, that, you know, with, with lakes and stuff. You know, more, roof, more places where people could live, you know, since they're breeding like bunnies. Uh... Three, do I think the new atheist movement is a good thing? You know, disrespect for religion and all. New atheist movement. I don't know that there is one, but that's an interesting term. You know, just like new age is just paganism. You know, I mean, yeah, <laughs> uh, new. That's wonderful. Uh, everybody is born an atheist, first of all. You know, it's like every computer starts off with like DOS. And then, through programming in our environment and everything, we get this operating system, kind of like a, you know OS or Windows. And suddenly, uh, you know, we have easy answers, and it's a lot easier that way. You know, it's a lot harder when you have to type the, everything in and know what you're doing. But any idiot can stand on a street corner and uh, you know wave this book around and. Uh, Sound like a damn professor. Uh, so, yeah, I do have some disrespect, but uh, I've had that problem for quite a while now, so I'm, I don't think it's so new. Um, four, what sorts of division, uh, decisions are affected by my atheism? Rational ones, mostly. I, I, I mean, I, I'm an emotional being, but uh, I do try to make decisions based on reason. And I don't have as many presuppositions as a theist would. So I'm not quite as limited in where I can seek the information I might need to solve a problem or to make a decision. And I don't have some pastor telling me, you know, some preacher telling me how to vote. I have to think about that myself. And sometimes I leave spots blank if I don't know. It's okay to not know everything. I'm... I admit I don't know everything. And I don't think somebody in the Bronze Age knew everything either. Uh, five. What is more important to me? Gaining true beliefs or gaining or not gaining false beliefs? And I, I know you said that those are different, but no, they're not. It's the same thing. Uh, I would be willing to believe any true belief. But I don't know. I, I even really 
I hate that word belief really. It sounds so like stamp it, you know, we're done. Uh, my quest for truth is ongoing and uh, at, you know, all the way, in, I hope, I mean, I hope I'm 150 when I die, but uh, I won't know everything on my deathbed either, you know, and nobody knows anything for sure. I mean, we're figuring things out as we go along and that's why I feel it's so wrong to consider something an authority just because it was written a long time ago. Yeah. Anyway, I, I hope I, I hope I did all right. This is the first time I've done this, and uh, you seem like a really good guy. And uh, I hope you really, really are, you know, really are listening because, like, we both don't want to believe false things. Peace, brother.